You got a pallet right there. Oh my lord. No way. Oh, that's beautiful. What is up, YouTube? I have got some exciting stuff for you today. So, Dead by Daylight, the game we all love to hate. I mean, love. Only love. Love, yes. Speaking of love, did you know that there's a dating sim? <laughs> Anywho, Dead by Daylight has released its newest killer. Well, not released, but PTB, public test build. And what we have now is the dredge. So take a moment and appreciate the beauty of the killer that we just received. A face only a mother could love. Equipped with sleeves. Anywho, we have the dredge who is the newest killer in Dead by Daylight and came with three new teachable perks. You got Dissolution. Three seconds after injuring a survivor by any means, Dissolution activates for 12 seconds. While active, if a survivor fast falls over a pallet inside of your terror radius, the entity will break the pallet at the end of the vault. So basically you hit a survivor, they're in terror radius, they try to fast fall a pallet, breaks it. It's almost like a, like a better endo fury, like a combination, right? Then you have darkness revealed. When you search a locker, the auras of all survivors within eight meters of any locker revealed to you for three seconds. So you're able to see the auras of people when you check lockers. Perk has a 30 second cooldown. Okay, not bad. Then you have septic touch. Whenever a survivor performs a healing action within your terror radius, that survivor suffers from blindness and exhausted. Those effects linger for six seconds after a healing action is interrupted by any means. So three perks that I don't feel necessarily are going to be the strongest perks ever but they will have their unique value um, against certain players, certain play styles. Uh, but I think the best perk, in my opinion, is probably Dissolution. Uh, kind of helps with the countering of uh, loops. Um, Dredge is a fairly fast killer at 4.6. Tall. Um, his ability, or, or their ability, uh, is basically the gloaming. Press and hold the power button to activate. Once activated, the dredge leaves a remnant behind. Uh, so the remnant is basically like a black cloud that he's in like an alternate reality, just kind of thought process. Aim at a locker and press the ability button to teleport into it or press the attack button to return to the remnant. So you can either choose to teleport to a locker, whichever locker you want, or return back to that teleport. Um, a great way to kind of zone survivors or teleport to try to cut off a survivor when in chase. Uh, the remnant is disabled when teleporting to a locker or when a survivor touches it. While in a locker, aim at any other locker and press the ability button to teleport again. So you can teleport multiple times while inside of a locker. Um, up to three times. So from one locker, you don't like that one, go to a different one, teleport. Don't like that one, teleport. Max of three. Uh, exiting the locker, returning to your remnant will activate the gloaming cooldown, after which all power tokens are recharged. Uh, so the way the survivors counter this is by locking the said lockers. It does allow for um, it to take a little longer to come out of the locker. If it's not locked, you jump right out. Otherwise, there is a time delay of coming out of that locker. Um, so it can be effective if you're working on a gen. There's lockers close by. You lock all the lockers. It's going to take a minute. You're going to hear that killer coming to you. But then the special ability, Nightfall. The Nightfall meter builds when a healthy survivor is injured. A survivor is hooked or the teleport power is used. The nightfall meter also fills faster for each survivor in the injured state. Once the nightfall meter is full, nightfall begins. During nightfall, survivors must navigate in total darkness. The dredge teleport is faster with a shorter cooldown, and there is no terror radius. Nightfall ends after 60 seconds. Survivors destroying the remnant also reduce the time of an active nightfall. So there's ways to counter it. I don't think that the darkness necessarily has any extra value but i will say from a survivor point of view it is very dark and it is super loud so it is kind of disorienting disorient disorienting there we go uh but otherwise perks aren't bad um we do have a build where we run the new perks that were introduced between the three unique perks to dredge and we also run the new uh base perk that they added added shattered hope uh, which, when you destroy a boon totem this way, the auras of all survivors increase the boon totem range are revealed to you for six seconds, so you're able to see survivors after you snuff a boon. That boon is also destroyed, or the totem is destroyed. So, 
interesting, right? Um, all in all, I do enjoy this killer. Uh, this is the build that I decided to run and a build just to see with what I had, see if I enjoyed it. I think Tinkerer will be a good perk to have on Dredge. Uh, say hello to Maurice right there. And then we also have uh, Blood Favor. I felt blocking the pallet after hitting. And then if you do hit them after that comes undone, maybe you get a value from the dissolution. Play thing, they never hear you coming whether you're in uh, you know, the darkness or out of the darkness. But stay tuned, look and see how the game's played out. I'm really excited to show you what we what we got with this. All right, first game with the dredge, Garden of Joy, new map. Let's go. All right. We see somebody over here on the back side of the map. Love that. She locked it. That's our perk there. Two locks. Hmm. Unfortunate. So a lot of aura, I feel like, coming right off the bat. Okay. This new map is pretty nice. I like it. Definitely a little overwhelming, it seems like. Okay, there's the M1. He definitely seems fast. Grab animation, nice. Go forward, hook on the porch, love that for me. Very interesting. This is gonna be a loop and a half right there. Okay. Nice. Oh, that is wonderful. Okay. Okay. Like that perk. Let's see what she does. Does she throw it? Yep. Throws it. That's fine. Pick her up, put her on this hook. It's okay. Here we go. But we know there's somebody else here. So there was one add-on that I could use that allowed that what that would allow me to see if a locker is close by or close to somebody. There's somebody over here to the right. I don't quite know exactly what it did, but I think that was something along those lines. Is there a way out of the house? Backwards? There is. Okay. Is there a pallet here? Uh, Z wall. Pallet's over there. Interesting. Um, no hook. Oh, the hook's right here. Okay. So, so far, I kind of like the ability. I haven't quite figured out. Oh. Okay, so you hit space to come out of the locker. Got it. What? What? Weird. Anybody else find that weird? I did. Okay. That is a good little vault there, though. I expected a dead hard. There wasn't. I do feel like he's pretty solid so far. Just off of the sheer like ability to teleport and whatnot. They're in darkness a lot longer, too. The ability to teleport immediately. There we are, and they stand out. That's insane. Can you imagine? Like, she has no idea where I'm at.
I like that. Oh, that is an instant teleport. Okay. So we are using only hit the dredges perks uh, paired with the new um, the new perk. So luckily, I haven't heard any boons yet. Look we'll over here. Can you see out of it? You can. Oh my goodness. You can teleport to a locker and look around. That's kind of clutch, actually. I love every bit of that. The end of that map is pretty cool. Decent sized lunge as well. Oh, I can worry them. We'll come we'll come take them onto the porch. What do you think? Oh the DC, come on. Ruining our Mori, however. Uh, let's come after this person here. Oh mo. Uh, I almost read that perfect, actually. That would have been kind of badass. Alright. Gonna hit here. Good pot throw. But now, I force her to vault it, right? No? They're just gonna throw this pallet here. Yep. Does she vault it? Didn't break it though. Hmm. So I wonder if she has to throw it first to get a value from it. Okay. Well, since nobody wants to allow me. Can't believe they DC'd. That's so unfortunate. So far, we've got good map pressure. I don't know if they're just not sitting on gens to not sit on gens, but I am liking what I'm seeing so far. There we go. Okay, so they were in the main. That's fine. Okay, so we have that right next to. Love that. Little vault action. Okay, so that's their second hook, right? Yeah. So everybody is moriable? Maybe not? So if they're within so many meters of that locker, wow. Okay, I like that. You got a pallet right there. Oh my lord. No way. Oh, that's beautiful. Here's the Mori. Love that. That is pretty cool. So I feel like the map pressure to go from one side of the map to the other is pretty awesome. Um, that ability to be able to teleport immediately to a locker. And have no hesitation there whatsoever is kind of awesome as well. So you use this to kind of like plan ahead, I feel like. Nothing yet. Okay. <laughs> Alright, that worked. Go ahead and mori them in front of a tire. Oh, eat the tire! Oh, and you can see the person back behind there. You see that? 
So we know where they're at now. Goodbye, my friend. Right over here. Wonder if she's searching for hatch. I definitely saw her back over here, I felt like. Yep, she got hatch. Good for her. All right, first game ever with this killer. I feel like we got value out of a couple of the perks. Um, didn't get any boon value, which is fine. But all in all, like, not bad. You know, we definitely got the, um, the, the pallet break a couple times. We got the healing action, the terror radius a couple times. Um, and we definitely got the locker as well. So I did like that one. So all in all, not a bad first game ever. GG's. All right, we have a little dead dog saloon. So we are running the locker perk where if they close a locker, I lock a locker, I see them. And then uh, fast recovery on the teleportation, which I think will be vital. So uh, we got to look for those auras. Which there was somebody here, so off to the left. Already on Genzo. <laughs> Dang it, I meant to hit that and completely space. That sucks. Because that would have been a great play. Getting her to commit to that. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Hmm. Didn't let me teleport there. Very unusual. Oh, that's right. I have to hold it down. I keep forgetting. We got somebody here on this side anyway. It is not letting me teleport. Oh, because I'm hitting the M1. I'm a dummy. I am such a dummy there. There we go. Force them off. Interesting that they did that. Uh, hmm. Force that second stage real quick before I leave. She dropped off. We'll go after the LED. I was going to teleport, so she waited. Love that. Okay. No locker here, so unfortunate. We'll drop over here. She's above. Wow. Good for you. We know there's somebody back over in that corner. I saw them uh, looking around. Let's see. I keep doing that by accident. That's unfortunate. I really don't mean to. So you can hit those locks off if you see them glowing. There we go. So they're locking everything. Okay. Oh, 
Okay. Very interesting. Well, she dies here. It's unfortunately not a good view, but it is what it is. Thank you for the bags. Thank you for the bags. It's a very long Mori. Smart play. Okay. Here we are. We'll take the hook right here. So this map isn't... Oh my goodness, M4. Quit hitting M1. I've done that so many times. So many times it kills me. What? Dave, quit hitting M1. Yeah, surprise. Thought you had me. Let me get the hang of it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Makes me so crazy. She gets the window vault. She's just gonna keep running in a circle. Okay. Nice. This player here is probably the best player on the team. Without a doubt. So, okay, we've got plaything. We've got a lot of a lot of uh, value from blood uh, blood favor. We haven't really they unfortunately cleansed it, but we did have a lot of value there early on. Break this. We haven't really gotten value from our own perk this time, however. I did again. Oops, I did it again. Funny that I'm playing Britney Spears. Ha <laughs> ha. So I almost feel like the way to beat this guy is to throw pallets before, I guess. And stay away from lockers. I need somebody help, not just anybody help. There we go. Okay, so they're on that far side. So closing those lockers definitely makes a difference. Did she come back and throw it? No, she did not. Wow. Good for her. It makes looping shack. So good. So good. Hold on. There we go. There we go. Here we go. Because I also feel like survivors will start to learn that you can do that and hesitating back to you. And uh, that makes me think that we'll see a lot of people run back into the killer and you can come back out of it.
sí. There we go. So, hmm, we got three tokens now. We'll probably be able to get up top, I think. She run to this pallet? She does. Through the pallet, then just left. Interesting. But why? But wait, there's more. All right, we got a hook here. Now we got to find the other. We got to let them get the unhook so we can get multiple more. <gasps> Okay, we're figuring it out, slowly but surely. So I think she was here. All right, here we go. So we gotta go after the healthy survivor, of course. She go back around. She ran to me because she wants the Mori. Let's see what she does. Yeah, you got caught. Ho, 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 ho. Oh, that's such a beautiful thing when it works. I love that so much. So you could teleport to multiple. Okay. That could be kind of tricky. I like that. I didn't mean to do that. I accidentally hit the button, but that's, that's good knowledge to have. Interesting. I like that. I wonder if there's a way you could chain all that together. I'm definitely losing chase because of it, but very interesting. She's also kind of learned not to path the same way every time. We got her running over here. So in the night, whatever thing, <laughs> when they're in the night world, which reminds me of the dream realm, um, they, uh, they absolutely stand out. So that would be the benefits of making sure they go into the darkness. So, okay. Okay. Hook here. We want her to wiggle off to get the unhook. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna come in here. No, no. I wanna see if I can make it onto the table. Warrior on the table. This will be fun. Ah, oh, dang! I missed it. First try, or do we do it on the bar? We could get her on the bar. How about that? You dropped off! You ruined it! Fine. We'll do it here. Can't see a thing. Miserable. <laughs> I had a very specific plan. Enjoy the whiskey bottles. Ruined it for me. All right, come here. Your turn. Or try this again. No. Go back to the table. Let's go back to the table. All right, we gotta drop off and drop her off onto the table. Here we go. Oh, you're floating. <laughs> nice. 
Very good. So, beautiful the moment. You got the piano playing. The darkness and closing around them. Love it. All in all, I do enjoy this killer. I do think this killer has some good things, has some bad things. Uh, but first impressions are definitely feeling really good. So, GG's, everybody. GG's.